you will be given at today's reflection. In the first Holy Scripture, it said, our Lord is speaking. Jacob, Jacob, he answered, here I am. He then he said, I am God, the God of your father. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for there I will make you a great nation. Not only will I go down to Egypt with you, I will also bring you back here after Joseph has closed your eyes. Word of the Lord. And then we hear of the encounter, which sounds, sounds like the prophecy of Simeon, when our baby Lord Jesus was presented in the temple with Jacob and Joseph. As soon as Joseph saw him, he flung himself on his neck and wept a long time in his arms. And Israel said to Joseph, At last I can die, now that I have seen for myself that Joseph is still alive. Word of the Lord. Let's pray the Holy Psalms. Turn from evil and do good, that you may abide forever, for the Lord loves what is right and forsakes not his faithful ones. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's sit for a moment and pretend we were one of Joseph's brothers that had him sold as a slave for some silver coins when we were teenagers. One of them didn't want to consent to his death and all agreed to sell him instead. Fast forward 30 regretful years later, they say, they say a mother never forgets a dead child. How can you forget? How could you forget a brother you sold to brutal torture? And so we must turn from evil at the instant it enters our head and our heart. And instead of doing the evil you are about to do with your mouth and your heart, do good. Do the opposite. Do the blessing instead. Our Lord Jesus speaks. Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves. So be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues. And you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. Gospel of the Lord. How in the world am I going to be shrewd as a serpent? What's that all about? <laughs> and how is a serpent shrewd anyway? Let's go back to Genesis. The serpent was tricky, cunning, pretty, sly, right? How do you think our Lord got away so many times from being stoned to death? He was shrewd. That, that is wise. Kind of like a, a wise master in martial arts, right? He knows how to use all the force of the enemy against himself. So be shrewd, but calm as a dove. So how are we going to be simple as a dove? Let's learn about simple. Jesus. He's free from guile, free from disgusting things. And to be simple is to be innocent. Think of an innocent child. That is a master. So can you combine these two? Child, master, what do you get, boss baby? <laughs> no, you get our Lord himself. It is said that Mother Mary says that Jesus is as humble in heaven He's as humble in heaven today as he was when he was a baby on earth. He is the most cherished being in heaven. And so he, sh he should be our most cherished being here on earth as it is in heaven. He said, when they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Gospel of the Lord. What is this? Don't worry a business about. Don't worry. 
In personal matters, we face persecutions. But does that matter? For the proud, it does. When I'm scorned and made fun of and lied about, does it matter? In the end, my friend, you can't fight back and defend yourself. Think of Jesus with Pontius Pilate and all the Pharisees and scribes that came at him to defend himself. What have you say? What do you got to say for yourself? Huh? He was simple like a dove and calmly spoke the truth. This is our calling. Humility has a face, and it is the face of God himself. For Jesus is to see the Father. And Jesus has asked us to be made one in him and through him. He says, you will be hated by all because of my name. But whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you, you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. Gospel of the Lord. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, you have commanded us to go out, to get out and trust in you. We are to carry nothing but mere faith and trust in you. Help us love you like you love us with all our heart, mind, body, and soul. In your precious name we pray, Jesus. Amen. From your brother in Christ our Lord, Adrian at goingforth.com. Today's random Bible verse generator. Do not toil to acquire wealth. Be discerning enough to desist. When your eyes light on it, it is gone. For suddenly it sprouts wings, flying like an eagle toward heaven. Amen. Have a blessed day.